And he became a master in the science. He himself says, wherever I would walk, people would say, this is Abu Hanifa. No man can debate with Abu Hanifa. The Qadariya, the Jabariya, no Batin Firqa wanted to debate with Imam Abu Hanifa. Rahimullah. Even when the atheists came to Kufa, the governor looked for no other than Imam Abu Hanifa. Rahimahullah. And they held this debate and there were thousands, if not hundreds and thousands of people there. And they're waiting and Imam Abu Hanifa hasn't turned up. And they're saying that Imam Abu Hanifa has bottled it. You know, he's scared. He hasn't turned up. And after a very long time, Imam Abu Hanifa turned up. And the atheist said, where you been? He said, what kind of Muslim are you? You give a time and you don't come on time? Imam Abu Hanifa should have said, you know, I'm a Pakistani Muslim. We're always late. And he said, um, I apologize, I'm late. But I live on the other side of the river and I have to catch a boat to come onto this side of the river. But there was no boat. So what I saw is all of a sudden that a tree falls down itself. It cuts itself into planks. It comes together itself. And then it comes to me itself. I jump in it and I cross the river. And the atheist said, what a load of hocus pocus. He said, have you ever seen a tree fall down by itself, come together itself and go across itself? And Imam Abu Hanifa said, game over, debate finished. He said, what do you mean debate finished? The debate hasn't even started. And Imam Abu Hanifa rahimullah said, if a little boat cannot come together itself, then how did the heavens and the earth, the sea and the trees, the birds and the bees come together without a creator? And this was the intellect, well, intellect of Imam Abu Hanifa rahimullah. The truth is today we don't have the Imam Abu Hanifas.